flash to isolate the kill. So 44 nah, situation, but yeah, like you mentioned, 100 Thieves, very aggressive. Noble was trying to do the exact same thing. They meet head on over towards A, and the spike will be planted. Yeah, they heard the dash because they had a player in the back of B site, so they're able to double through and catch that from Asuna. But again, still a post plant for 100 Thieves, and they're on equal footing with their opponent as far as man count goes. They have a great cam in place to watch heaven. That's a big kill from ZK. This retake going to be much easier. Nitro, Paranoia, beautifully placed, but Payan expects the challenge. Finds the kill, no problem. Now on the way in, still able to only find one elimination. Ethan also dropping the retake from Noble. 100 per players. And Payan, I'm sure, is going to see this. CK over the top does get reveal. 100 Thieves have made their way on. Flash is coming out. Both players caught no. on reload. Noble will not find even barely even a shred of damage on the hold. B-Dog, an initial trade, but still for 100 Thieves, successful plant, and a very doable 4v3 with a couple of weapons collected. Yeah, absolutely. Those weapons being collected means everything, plus mana advantage. They are low on health, though. A couple of their players, but it doesn't seem to matter. Steel puts the Sheriff to work. Third player caught on reload. Precision now left with what would be a 1v3. Both players are tagged low, and they're actually lined up at the moment. Precision checks right, doesn't see anybody, finds the elimination. 1v1. And it's down to... The timing of the play, Precision ring around the rosy, has to go for the defuse and slipping the net for a time, is going to be Nitro with Precision! These are now on the board with the round, they have a great chance to keep on trucking, B-Dog though, catching Asuna early, wow. gets a bit more as well, and gets to read on the positioning. You did have Nitro commit to the From the Shadows, though he's taken control of Heaven and has found a run and gun headshot on the Leviathan. Considering maybe Shrouding stepping away from this position, but really no need to relinquish it at the moment. Precision is still alive, a part of this. Trailblazer will scout about and actually get the stun. Big. A huge connection. A hundred thieves now take a massive advantage over the A site. 3v2. Payan trying to retake. Heaven Nitro has alleviated the position and conceded it. So maybe an opportunity for Noble to get something set up. Payan has seen Ethan around the corner. ZK nearly baited out with the fake flash, but still turns his attention. Paranoia comes through to now be the next level of distraction, and Noble are really in a headache of a position when it comes to what do you use to even try to get back into the site? Someone's going to have to win a gunfight. Payan snagged down to 51 HP, and as ZK falls, Payan's just going to... Asuna over the top of the trap wire. Payan not really sure where he went to. Oh my goodness, head on a swivel, but couldn't lock anybody down, and Asuna reaps the rewards. Two kills into the site they go. C has completely been taken. And that should lead to a plant, although not committing to it initially was Nitro. Now finally puts it down, and Steel mid-map just lurking. Very well could get rewarded with a free kill here on the B-Dog. Here comes the peak, but B-Dog does keep things interesting. 3v4 we go. <laughs> Tony, <laughs> you're clearing out the garage for a second. I like how I was just chilling there for a second, just not moving, and then it just kind of jumps forward. But uh, yeah, it's a great tag onto Nitro. Paint Shell comes in, but Asuna continues to wreak havoc with these Jeez. daggers, and now Noble does have to just kind of bite the bullet and back up, save these weapons. They are starting to fall behind. Economy's starting to run dry. Definitely need to carry these over. Asuna. This is so cool seeing him on the jet. It, it's definitely kind of new to see him playing this agent. But you know what it kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me the Dude. way that... Yeah. Well, he might ace here, actually. About for them. It just kind of depends on what 100 Thieves decide to do here. Is, again, they're doing a great job, like, clearing everything else out. They're flashing B. They just trailblaze garage. You know, they're, they're, they're being really active across the map, despite being gathered on the A side. But at the end of the day, it looks like they're still going to run into the stack. And I love this from 100 Thieves. They're essentially sitting here saying, you make the first move, Noble. We'll see if you get tested. B-Dog up top finds one precision a second. Asuna took a little bit longer on the kill than we would normally expect, but still, the numbers favor 100 Thieves. And Payan has to retake with an Ares finds one, and if he holds down the trigger, of contest eventually, but this is going to have to be a clean retake. It's a great start, though. Leviathan finds a Nitro right away. There is a Hunter's Three, though, for 100 Thieves, which is tucked into Long C. And so unless yeah. they can pry that, it's going to be something they constantly have to worry about as they try to retake this site. No one's going to check for steel. No one's checking for steel. 
He's gonna find two, no problem whatsoever. I love that call from 100 Thieves. I mean, it's so regular that we see post-plant setups where everyone just locks down long, but this time, a couple of contestants are really paying. He's actually gotten this to halfway. Hiko, going into the Hunter's Fury, will find some damage, but no kills. And now, all of a sudden, the spam shot's coming out. Noble, they could very well do this. Payan's gonna be stuck on this. Get down, Mr. President! Everyone just body blocks for him, and Noble will deep into the site. Still watching the flank is going to be steel, and for Noble, there are some tools here to try to retake this. you got a Hunter's Fury plus the Cosmic Divide, and if you find any kills, the Neural Theft could be massive when it comes to laying out the land, but the unfortunate thing is Asuna is still holding on close, has found first blood. Hunter's Fury forced to come out now. Cosmic Divide also trying to split the site up into two. As Payan finds one, Payan will take down a second, looking for a third Payan for three. 2v2 situation, the Neural Theft has confirmed the information on where a hundred thieves are positioned Position, but Leviathan and Payan are stopped right there. The smoke just plant, and this is putting so much pressure on the Noble. I, I mean, like they do planning faster than Noble can communicate that he might. Be What's planning. happening? Yeah, so true, <laughs> so true. Like, hey guys, he's playing. Oh yeah, never mind. You know now. <laughs> and this is a very similar retake situation from the previous round. The only difference being that the weaponry is going to be a little bit better. Precision, B dog, able to combine for three. 4v2 situation, Hiko is going to be tested here. Last shock dart now spent. Coming quickly as Payan, but falls just as fast as he tried to make the play through window. So is Precision, and Hiko what? finds a third. Noble, no way. Hiko finds four. Quick take over towards A this time. Gets the spike. Lands it? No, backs away for just a small moment as Noble there starting to really showcase that, yes, we are here with numbers and... LMGs galore from the high ground. Leviathan trying to find advantage, trying to take down Ethan, not quite able to get the kill. And all the meanwhile, again, the spike has not been planted yet, and these LMGs are really going to work, but even still, 100 Thieves still find first blood. What is happening? Unbelievable. They were so dedicated to the cause of trying to get info on the players under heaven and spamming them with these Odins and whatnot, and they just never quite made it work. Now they have to try to retake a man behind, trying to blast their way in, but Austin continues to tee off. And it's just down to precision. Would have to 1v2 to save the round. Steel, good camera in play. Pico, long peak, no problem in, really speaking, because the 100 Thieves were going to be in a really dangerous spot trying to hold things on. Now, all of a sudden, as Steel has found first blood, that's actually mid-map away from this play. Uh -oh. Nitro has been tagged, at least for a moment, uses the shrouded step to seek out the high ground. Steel has found a second kill mid-map. Players here defending, and the cage is still going to make it harder for them to push their sewers. Oh, but ZK does find one elimination. Hiko up top. Cannot necessarily deny the spike plant, so just the nick of time, Noble get themselves a 3v4 look at the round. Hiko still holding onto the Aldrum, going to try to use this to move forward. Recon Bolt will reveal that the defense is heavily stacked towards heaven, but that doesn't stop Nitro from finding one kill. Dicey trying to work from the low ground, not quite able to find anything there. 3v2 we go. Hiko on for the low ground. See ZK on the back, but the full rotation up top. Have they read this? Leviathan, he's going to have to come down and challenge this. Austin has already found this the halfway, and Hiko and Nitro combined for the eliminations. And 100 Thieves will secure the retake and go up 10 to 5. He's back into the back of the site here. Trying to stay alive. Nitro there on the platform to try to help him out as well. Nitro good for one, but does fall to Leviathan. Still not able to get that spike comfortably down on the site just yet. And again, Dice is still lingering around in his own right in the site. Oh, the Hunter's Fury attacks a beat up, but he still finds a kill on the steal. Okay, one for one's not bad overall. Delaying the last shot would be done. Oh, okay, as they Hiko delays it, but Dicey's does still find two. Is he never gave up a position mid map? Precision with the himself? Seekers out. I think he was trying to heal himself, yes. I yeah, I think he was too, but <laughs> unfortunately, that's uh, not possible. So now it's Precision for the 1v2. Last guy in light comes out, finds Asuna. But Hiko around the back. Trailblazer to come out. That'll gain a little bit of space. Gets the information plus the stun. Hiko going to still stick for the defuse. Gets this to halfway. Does he hold for the rest of the time? No. Backs away from it. And precision. Forced to take the challenge, but Hiko off that information. Was considering it for a moment, but the guiding light will come through, and that will actually stall out this play for Noble mid-map. Asuna not quite able to find ZK. So 4v4. Showstopper very quickly for B-Dog. Uh... I don't know if he's seen anything, but throws it out, does connect on the Hiko, taking him down to just below half health. So at least some That's damage was confirmed, but that seems like a missed cue to not get a kill yeah. potential, and Steel on the backside will actually continue to trap Noble mid-map.
Yeah, I feel like you were to use that to either take space onto the site or get a kill, and it did either of those things. So definitely not getting a lot of value out of that. But Leviathan and company still able to start swarming this site. Nitro in a really tough spot right now as his teammates are falling all around him. And now he's actually having to worry about them maybe pivoting somewhere else, but he actually is able to alt into a so site, good. so he'll be here in time. Oh my goodness. He's heard pan too. 30 seconds left. Oh, he's going to B and he knows it. He's going to be able to get in behind, perhaps. Oh, Dicey might get caught by b Dog, though. That's the only real problem, but the spike Ooh. it stopped! Spike down, oh my B. goodness, the clutch from Nitro. Down. Now he knows for a fact, obviously, where the spike is down. Leviathan, the one to collect it, has to make this play. Shrouded step to the high ground. Nitro, have you just finessed this? Oh, Toppy finds one, knows with the last player in the oh! Leviathan! Finry. But they do have a Hunter's Fury, which could be an opportunity to get them up close and personal, which is obviously where you want to be. Here comes the tank. Steel sneaks on into a cyber cage, and Hiko runs Steel around the backside, just flank the play in full. And Noble run away from Steel. Oh boy. Showstopper coming through for B-Dog. Tosses it down to hell, finds Hiko. And the blind comes out. That'll be decent for Steel to be taken out, but Dicey's is in this site, has already found a couple of kills. Guiding Light comes around the backside of the corner, but it's B-Dog who beats him on the angle to get the gun up, and now it's a 2v3 situation favoring Noble, who still have yet to plant. Payton finds a free angle onto us, and, a, and it's just up to Nitro, trying to shroud to step his way in. Quite strong. For 100 Thieves, still out three rounds, now back into the money. Asuna's awesome, been serviceable with that operator. Definitely been great with the jet generally. Dicey's not been bad filling in yeah, here. No, not at second. all. <laughs> Definitely had a... Steel actually gets a lot of damage into B-Dog right down A main. Regrowth will come through from Precision. Spike planted. You want to fight? Noble stole with an Astral Divide. We'll use here. that now. That will cut off the play from Heaven and also the forward point of content through the B-Link. Payin' holding the very day one corner. He'll be scouted out by that. Cloudburst comes through first. Dawson wants to go right on in. Try to isolate this elimination and does find information. Hiko able to find two with the Hunter's Fury. Steel gets a third in the mix. It's up to Leviathan to try to hold things on with precision. Who would the entire time play through hell? Oh boy! A little windy in the back. Clear Sentinel, but not really in the same vein as other <laughs> yeah. Sentinels as far as the info stuff. So, yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. That. Oh boy. Bayon actually does find a couple of kills here, but this is the Spike Carrier. And there is at least a little bit of help to be here with Leviathan. And ZK actually in the middle of the map does take down one of the defensive rotators. Let's say for a moment with Hiko's position staying safe and some help from uh, Asuna up top. You thought maybe there was going to be a chance for 100 Thieves just to put Noble into the blender. But it all falls onto the shoulders of Nitro. We'll upgrade from Classic to Ghost for this 1v3 attempt. Not going to be an easy one here for Nitro. Has the orb to cover him a little bit here, but that snake bite will obviously come from the opposing side to refute him being able to really get much out of it. So not expecting a whole lot here out of old Nitro. He's diffusing inside of it. Spam shots. He does get this to halfway, I believe, or just short of it. Regardless, here comes the play forward. Nitro finds one. Nitro finds two. No. Oh way. no. No. No, no, no way no, 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 he does no. this. Okay. Oh way. Nitro has he read this, trying for some spam shots, actually takes one in return, and that will mean he has to back down, wait for help. Yeah, but the snake fight down, trying to spam through the orb, does get the kill, but the spike will go through prior, oh. as he catches Leviathan, trying to jump in the container, and so 100 Thieves have the edge here, at least for now. Hiko, shot toward over the top. Lear to free up Asuna, wants to take over some space, tries to clear out backside yellow. No one's actually there though for Noble, and Nitro, he's sticking for the defuse. Party through halfway, on the way to completion, and Noble will find a couple of kills, but none of them were on the defuser. Let's get a really cool timing if you do this just- Oh, God. <laughs> well, the timing did favor the other way, but ZK still does get rewarded, so first two kills will come through, but it does come at a bit of a cost. Hiko, next one up defensively, Guardian in hand for him. Even an opportunity to use these shock darts potentially get on to play. Precision will be able to get the spike down without any damage being through. So 3v3 retake required for 100 Thieves. Yeah, it's going to be tough here. They don't have any alts in play in this 3 on 3. So they have to just do it by pure firepower and some base utility. Still waiting for Steel's utility to be available to him as he has to replace it. So they're held up for now. But now looking to pry open. Oh, Precision. He's actually been tagged to the wall, but Steel... Didn't get that information until it was too late. 
Ethan trying to work around the back, but the problem is there are so many members for Noble to deal with, including Precision still, who nearly finds all three. Two will fall, Leviathan P. A good thing that Ethan's still kind of in the area, as we do have the alt at yellow, but Ethan finds it and starts putting smokes down to stall. Instead of backing all the way up, though, he's going to stick around. Maybe catching him off guard at yellow position, but no, he gets absolutely busted. And no rotation had happened yet from 100 Ds, thinking that maybe that was going to be a fake, and so they're well out of position to retake now. Yeah, and uh, They still try it, though, with the Killjoy ult. As I was about to say, that's the only real tool they have available to them. Ethan really needed to find two kills. It's hard to ask that of anybody in a 1v5, essentially, but he needed to walk away with two to keep the numbers even and hopefully get 100 Ds on the rotation, but yeah, not now. Either that or back all the way up and then use yep. the Killjoy ult to yep. try to retake together. That's really the only other option he had. But again, I think they were suspecting that once the alt got caught at yellow that they would just go back to A, at least the gamble that Huntley's were having to take given their man disadvantage. So this round will come to a conclusion favoring Noble. It just comes down to will there be any extra points of contact here late. A Noble with a couple of rounds in a row very well could try to punish 100 Thieves here economically, but Eco long range finds one. Tapping the shots for the second. B-Dog up top is the third. Does he get the... Eco pushes at the pass. The aggression coming through, trying to use the offensive wall to their favor, but none of it working out. Asuna missing shots. Ethan, who's shrouded step to the top, will also fall. And I was about to say, this is a very important round for 100 Thieves. No, I think he actually just walked down tube as they were pushing middle and just got caught. Hoping that he could try to work with, you know, Asuna do something crazy. Now still in a lot of trouble with this operator on no. A side. Leviathan clears out. Now it's all on Nitro. Not long for this world. He's able to sneak out and get one, but that's going to be it. There's no one of these all map long so far. And can they build off of it's now the next question. Asuna goes ahead and pops the ult to try to be extra dangerous here on the site. But the res wow. comes in to keep this going. And Noble find an entry off the back of it. Asuna down, ult disabled. Ethan wow. is flanking through long B, but he's still a bit off. But Payne's also making a nice little push through middle. And so this could get very interesting. Big tags with that Hunter's Fury. Oh no, he's been caught. Ethan. Oh, but he's found one. Knows that B-Dog's to his right, but oh, the little jump peek from B-Dog with the knives are good. Pay and the flank through mid-map finds the last. And now it's down to Nitro to try to recollect this. Able to find the kill. B-Dog pulled in the angle. Nice little snap to find the elimination. Just up to steal now. 1v3. Time becoming a problem. Bomb will be planted here at the B site. But Steel very well could try to find this. And boy... Shot just barely goes a bit wide. Tough 1v2 here now. Yeah, if he connects that right away, you, you maybe have some hope for him now, though. 1v2 with an Operator 19 HP. Seems really unlikely. One shot. Needs to reload eventually. Unless he wants to trust the pistol. Timing's everything here, though. Holding yellow currently. It's going to be Precision who walks. Potentially be a flanker on the back. Looks like they do just want to try to push very quickly forward. Lockdown being spent. Both nanostorms activated. Chips away a little bit of damage, but ZK pushing forward just on the outside of this lockdown barrier has found one. Now pushing through into Eco's line of sight. Finds the second. Asuna, the only one roughly with on top of the site, but he is dangerous to deal with. Finds one. Gets the second boosted up to his level. Precision there for the trade, but this has become much more doable for Nitro now in a 1v2. Yeah, he's still a little bit of a ways off, though. He's still could make it happen, sure, but it seems like Noble have everything covered, they have full health. Well, now they'll know where he's coming from, but this Toxic screen could split up how this defense is playing. B-Dog, on the opposite side of yellow. Here comes the peak of precision! Like just to make sure no one's holding the back. Now the Toxic screen should free up the play. Ethan looking for a corner, and ZK just spams it out! Leviathan finds the second! Unbelievable! And Hiko is still trying to scout out what's going on over towards A. Nitro, though, has slipped around the back of this. Going to find one elimination. Of course, the Decay will put him down to critical HP. Snakebite will be tossed out. And to be fair, at least for 100 Thieves, they've stopped the plant for now. Payan going to eventually commit steal to spams the traditional corner. Finds elimination and an opportunity for 100 Thieves to find a second round if they can close out this 3v2. This is what they need. Nitro gets a third now all on ZK. He has the spike right in front of him. He's got a winnable 1v3. Find the find. Oh, nah, he go gets it. Well done. So now it's on a noble to retake against the numbers of 100 Thieves. And again, just so much barrier being provided between the dark covers. 
and also all the Viper utility, but Austin looks to try to stretch for a kill and gets punished for it. ZK also able to penalize Ethan. Steel over the middle of the map, though, able to find one elimination just down Main Street, but the kills are still coming through. 1v2, Nitro trying to survive through it, finds one, needs to get the second versus ZK. Trying to play the time, and bang, finds the kill! Watching for a mid flank. But it's all going to come down to that, that you know, those leers from Asuna and actually just making that commitment either direction. Leviathan catches Steel out in the middle, so now all of a sudden they have to worry about their backside. They have to commit. They have no presence anywhere else in the map. Ah, and these are just been free angles. ZK gets the corner onto Asuna. Precision another just down to Ethan. Able to find one, but that's where the F. Now Steel can actually take control of Topside Kitchen. He wants to challenge this. Paranoia comes through the toxic screen. He's hugging onto every inch possible. Sneaks through, fights one, looks for the second steal for two. Spike planted behind this play. Leviathan's just hoping for some free shots. B Dog eventually able to neutralize the player up top. But the problem is, how do you work through this Viper's pit? So much work to be done here for Noble. Yeah, Leviathan's kinda... still holding onto a recon bolt. Could come through quickly, but that gets denied. And Nitro holding the corner is going to be able to see him before any plays can actually unfold. 100 days are looking perfect here. Oh, yeah. Everything's gone according to plan. The initial Sylvia utility to get control of Long B and push the Viper back. Viper's pit to control where they know there's a vulnerability, which is this B site. And they will start coming in trying to flex their superior firepower. Good utility down to keep getting this deeper and deeper control towards the containers. No. Asuna gets a very key frag that was desperately required to keep 100 deep. No. Okay, and oh, the great combination of the paranoid that let Asuna stay around, but a res does come in. So much time is off the clock already. Asuna could go in the episode if they want to. Nitro swings. Asuna for three. Asuna for four. It's down to precision. Last player in the middle of the map has found one. Give him a double. Looking to battle back. Asuna slow, but the leer. Defensively, you're going to get Leviathan on the Hunter's Fury, trying to connect and does! Possible raid boss down there as Asuna is the first one to fall. Big alt from Ethan, though, to get control of this top riser's position in the back of the A site. Almost gets caught teleporting out of there, though, but does hold on. Steel gets his man. Ethan does go down Leviathan, though, and so it equalizes things for a time, though. Hunter's oh. right now, a man down, but Steel fighting it back! How has he seen that? Aldrone was scouted out. Steel takes advantage, but now a 3v2. Noble on the retake. Precision uh -oh. from behind. Wants to sneak up on Hiko, who's not going to expect this at all. There's the first elimination. Now from the front, it's just Steel. 1v3. Sees B-Dog, but dashes away. Now over to the high ground. Precision will double up, and Noble find their 12th round and put themselves on map points. Indeed, they'll get their res back up as soon as they... ...the realm of possibility, and at least for our point of view, it puts us into the conversation of how it happens. Yeah, opt back, though. For both sides, rifles a plenty for Noble. ...of 100T walks in, and is Pan going to try to re-inspire re the integrity of the smoke? He does, and it costs him his life. 100 Thieves ready for it. And ZK is right inside of two. B-Dog has a pixel peek over for the B-Cross. But Steel is also on an angle that's going to be tested. Ah, oh, B-Dog finds the first Noble. Also, get a second kill from ZK up the middle of the map. It's down to a 2v4. Empress, hop for Asuna. From the shadows, being spent, that will scout out that both players are playing backside yellow. Good information here for Noble as they make their way forward. It's down to how do you clear it? What do you have available? Lear comes through. Slow Orb also blocking off the backside. But the shots, Asuna has slipped behind Ooh. the plate. He's been able to find one just spamming through the walls. Nico trying to deny the wall. Opens up some space. Resurrection in the play for B-Dog. But Asuna finds another. Dismisses to the backside. Has precision lined up and can't finish the kill. Just down to Eco. Nothing to do there. And Noble strike back in map number two with the 13-9. The alarm bot will slow things down to touch. Ethan goes up to the wall, pan, tested, and finds nothing short of just a couple little bits of damage. Long range actually <laughs> coming through. Paranoia does a pretty good amount of work to allow ZK a chance, but the flashes cause chaos. <laughs> Asuna survives through it in, helps with the Ethan to find two in collection. So Noble just down to Leviathan for a 1v4. Yeah, that's one of those knowing is half the battle type scenarios for Noble. Yeah, you might know that it, it almost has this air to it that a hundred these overcomplicate. Like, you I know you're going with it. it. A, and how about the long play from Pan trying to close uh -oh. this rotation off? Huge catch on the ZK trying to teleport across and Steel lands the spam immediately from under heaven. 
now going to be able to also put the Nano Swarm there. That's a very tricky spot to put it in. It makes it very disruptive for defensive teams to rotate through. And so now Noble finds himself well behind from the through. Nearly catches Leviathan, Ooh. caught with a recon bolt out. But the problem is he doesn't check down low to the left, which is where ZK is currently hiding inside of logs. But for the first, turns around, would love to have gotten a second, but one for one is okay. 100 Thieves still committing to this play as they've made their way over towards the boathouse. And it's just mm -hmm. down to can you shrug off these last two members that are actually onto the B site before you can actually get a plant off. Yeah, they're getting held up, and the rotations are coming along here for Noble right now. They also have Hunter Tyria available. As soon as a plant starts, they can disrupt that pretty easily, though that player is actually on the side itself, so maybe not so much going to happen that way. As they're trying to break in, but they just can't seem to get that next kill they need. They don't even know what this player in the back. They're so focused on the Bison on the side itself. Ethan is running it down with the Classic, but again, they just don't even know about that next player. But Nitro somehow breaks through anyway into a 1v1. Yeah, that's a really nice exchange for 100 Thieves, getting Ethan through on one side, Nitro playing the opposite. Shrouded Step comes through to get him to safety into the archway for the 1v1. Payan playing this through the staircase side. You see him on the picture-in-picture -picture to your left. It's just down to how do you clear these angles. And actually, to be fair, Pan's done a pretty nice job. He's going to have a pretty good guess. And especially now that the dark cover comes out, he should know that Nitro's playing from the right. But who gets the first peek? Oh, the shot's going through the wall. Neither team going to connect. And Nitro switches to the classic and finds Pan playing through tree. That's the 4v4 setup. But Ethan watches the flank, finds one, not getting a second. So now 3v3 and a possible opportunity for Noble to envelop this site. Boombot comes out, obviously knowing that the flank is compromised, and Leviathan finds a connection just as the paranoia hits. Asuna down low in hell. 3v2 situation. Holding the tight left corner is Nitro. Long range shots for B-Dog are good. Now a 1v2, and Leviathan just spams through and finds the connection on the wall, bang. That will be good for the damage plus kills, and Noble tying us back up at three. Good old... This is so good for B-Dog. Staying safe from the spam. Oh Leviathan gosh. through the archway again. Paint shells out. Boombot, showstopper, the kitchen sink, all coming out from Noble. Precision mid map takes down steel. Showstopper connects onto Hiko. It's the spike down. No time to even plant. And 100 thieves never even get a chance to execute. Feel like for Noble, it should come through and it will. Yep. Leviathan still locking things down, and it's just down to for Noble. Do you use this lockdown to retake? Oh, absolutely. You do. You have a five on four. I feel like they played this on purpose. They knew what ult they were up against, and so they're like, "Fine, just take the site. We're not going to lose anything along the way, though. Burn them, and then we're going to come in with this lockdown and retake you." Here comes the forward play. Lockdowns down. Hunter's Fury used to deny it. That will be successful. Lockdown destroyed. So now for Noble, you have to do this the old-fashioned way. Precision finds the first elimination to maybe kind of insinuate that they could. Asuna, good for two. Hiko, 2v3, trying to work this alongside of Nitro, but not able to take down B-Dog. But the problem is the time. It took just a little bit too long. And 100 Thieves will succeed. The barrier gets slowed. And now this recon oh ball can get such a big read in these spots. Two of them. Payne Aww. gets the frag. Payne gets more. <laughs> that was absolutely disgusting from Noble on the setup. And how good has Precision been with these walls and orbs to allow his teammates to convert? Everything falls to Austin. I not really a chance to really even go for this round. And that's been one of the big keys. Ethan trying to sneak through and catch Payne off. Oh. Almost worth, but not quite. Payne says nay. Gets two big ones there with the Operator already into a 5-on-3, with Nitro also very hurt. B-Dog gonna get one for free. Wants to dance around the corner maybe for a second. Doesn't really anticipate that Hiko is as close as he is. There's the angle, there's the information, and with it also comes the kill. Asuna 1v5. Any tricks up your sleeve for this one here, friend? Gonna get tagged up through the wall. Able to find one elimination and a second. No, no, no! No way, surely not! Okay, another like you mentioned, that's steal off the picture, so now there's no chance the oh. Resurrection will come through. But Austin is able to get taken down again, no run it back, so the combination that you're looking for at the beginning of the round is already denied. Yeah, the run it back to take a side's already off the table, wall slowing down 100 these from splitting A, and now the oh slow boy. orb combos it, nades lands on Ethan, he does survive. 
Lockdown gonna be able to at least come in now. Paranoia is sick on to be dog, but he pops a showstopper bow, <gasps> never get to use it. Really at combo from 100 of these to take this site. 2v4 situation, lockdown in play. Steel flanking. Pan ready for it though. Now 2v3. Lockdown too. It's gonna go down. Right here oh, in the yeah. corner, next to glass. Aldrone also in the mix. And this is an operator currently for Payne. There should be some weapons around the corner for him to pick up if he wants to, but goes for the challenge. Leviathan going quickly. Wants to make a play on towards the spikes of value there. Forces out the healing orb as Leviathan had some issues taking care of it. Alarm bot also triggered. Nitro from the bottom side of the site throws out a paranoia. And Hiko responds. Early utility finding value for 100 thieves. Nitro, though, still going to be tested. ZK not able to find any help for the elimination. B-Dog on the site. It will be essentially jumped on. Goomba stopped by Ethan. And it's Leviathan for what it would need to be a 1v4. No spike to play with either. Yeah, not long for this world, you'd have to imagine. This is formality at this point. For under these to start knocking on the door of a tie situation around the corner. Standing ahead. Have a little fun Decent. as Leviathan. Decent overall, though. He gets one. Nearly a chance. Okay, from Leviathan to start getting up speedway. They need that corner, which is a very popular spot for defenses to hold. But the Nano Swarms come out late here to slow down the attack. It's buying time for the rotation. Hiko's taking some damage, sure. But, again, they're at least able to start rotating their players around. But Steel's in a tough spot. Time. 13 seconds of the clock. Steel just needs to kill off the clock. Spike is being played, and he finds the first kill, not the second. Six seconds of the clock. Nitro's not a part of this play. Wants to see if the spike successfully gets planted, which of course it will. Now available for Payan. Might be using this as a fake, perhaps? As Precision was trying to make some headway up tree, but now the opposing Venn diagram <laughs> that we see of both lockdowns in play, but looking uh. good for 100 Thieves. Yeah, it's a kill that Payne would love to have. He's just lurking on the roll, and now Asuna. Beautiful curveball plus to the party. Blast pack actually pushes him up just a little bit. That'll be a sound cue on him, but doesn't make too much of a difference because Hiko's utility is so good. Confirms the kill with the shock dart. Flash around the corner from the curveball, but Asuna doesn't follow up after it, so a kill is responded to. We go 4v4. Uh -oh. Nitro denied in the back, and even though it's traded, we've got a 3v3 here, 45 seconds to play, and Noble could rotate if they want to. They get caught if they try to go back hall still, because Ethan is here watching this. So they have to back up through middle instead, and they have very low HP on their two remaining players, and time is all starting to dwindle, and again, Ethan has this back hall's covered. 30 seconds Spike left. is actually over towards Tree, trying to maybe pry into A as B-Ball continues to try to put pressure to stop the rotation. He catches Steel, that's a big one. He's revealed, however, and Ethan goes back to find him, and, and ensuring that they're going to have a two-on-one retake with CK having low HP. But ZK's got enough top glass. Could just wait on this angle. Knows Hiko has to rotate. Also got confirmation on where Ethan was positioned. So for a 1v2, low HP, still doable. I know it's possible. But it's all about the timing of how this play comes to fruition. And it's going to be a double peak simultaneously for 100 Thieves. They nearly line up, but... Current timing. And it's in wide. Yeah, I think so too. I don't know that Noble will know that he's there. Well, now they do. But it's... I mean, they already lost a player along the way. Yeah, and Payan does get isolated. It's the second round in a row that 100 Thieves have been able to push someone back into that corner beyond the ultimate orb. Hunter Siri coming out for the offense. Hiko shrugged off. Will still be fine. He's going to have some help as well from Steel, and Hiko still finding value with the Odin, although Steel misses an uncharacteristic shot. So B Dog keeps the play alive. 2v3. Spike is making its way through the offensive spawn, but look who's tracking it on the minimap. Asuna right behind converts the headshot. And now B-Dog gets tagged up by the Aldrone, and it's only a matter of time before he starts to get tagged up from a multitude of angles. He even gets tagged once more by the same Aldrone, and he goes... <laughs> Locked down, so that could be a big yeah. tool for a take, especially if he can get control of B-Lobby, and there's really nothing to stop it. You place it correctly. They will be able to afford as well, that's the key. Yes. Yeah, they didn't go so. all the way in last round. They, they were very yeah. calculated in their spending. Is that... Wait. I don't know what that is. What is he in? Is he in a volcano? I, I don't know. I haven't seen that one before. That's new. Me neither. First time for everything. Oh, this uh -oh. man! Uh. Cross cancel, I guess. Oh, that shock dart, though, lands. Leviathan chunking Hiko. But 
No first blood to speak of as of yet. Also, of course, the ability to heal. So he go right back Dick. to essentially full HP and steel converts first blood. Operator from the middle of the map. Asuna did get tagged over through Cubby, so there's not an opportunity for him to recontest. And I was about to say that means that the resurrection should be essentially guaranteed, and it will be. So we go back to 5v5. Indeed we do. Lockdown comes into play as well now from B Lobby as they try to start approaching this site. They're also going to see an Omen alt put to use for a little bit of intel, but they can't really follow up this attack. They're getting bogged down in B Lobby. They're never yep. able to actually take the site. These Nano Swarms continue to reinforce, and oh no. This might be a little bit too slow for Noble. They took a lot of damage on the way through as well. Hiko still had a line of sight to spray down the entryway. But still, Noble, they do get possession. Nitro reconfirms the first blood. This time it's on the beat off. And on logs. Oh, also that deals with them. Now they're running back earn. Going quickly in for the retake. Leviathan at low HP. Curveball comes out. Precision has no idea where to look. Also defines a second. Down to a 5v2 situation. And now the last hopes are on ZK. No more Cinderella's today. 100 Thieves survive through Noble. And 